Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make my granny stripe blanket. To begin, all you're going to need is some yarn and a crochet hook. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make chains and how to make the double crochet stitch. I have videos on both of those and I will have them listed down below. Starting from the very beginning, you're going to make chains in the multiple of three. So like I said, you're going to make chains in the multiple of three for how wide you want your blanket. I'm going to make 162 chains for my example blanket. So that's 162 chains for my example blanket in the multiple of three. To start row one, make two double crochet into the third chain from your hook. So that's one and two. You're going to skip two chains into this next chain, make three double crochet. So that's one, two, and three. Skip two chains into this next chain, make three double crochet. So that's one, two, and three. Skip two chains into this next chain, make three double crochet. So that's one, two, and three. You're now going to repeat this sequence of skipping two chains and then making three double crochet into the next chain for the rest of your row.
And that's how row one is looking. To start row two, make four chains. We're gonna use these four chains to skip over this block of three double crochet. We're gonna be working into this space between blocks of three double crochet. And you're gonna make three double crochet into that space. So that's one, two, and three. And with these four chains, you can see we've made a space here that we'll be working into in our next row. So to continue on, skip three stitches into this next space, make three double crochet. One, two, three. Skip three stitches into this next space, make three double crochet. One, two, three. Skip three stitches into this next space, make three double crochet. One, two, and three. So skipping three stitches and working three double crochet into the next space is going to be our sequence until we reach the end of our row. So when we get to the end of our row, we're going to have one block of three double crochet left. Technically, it is two double crochet and then some chains from our previous row, but these chains we're going to count as a double crochet. So that's three double crochet together. You're going to make one chain. 
skip two double crochet into the last double crochet or these chains over here you're going to make one double crochet and this chain plus double crochet is going to match our chain four at the beginning of this row and that's how row two is looking to start row three make three chains these three chains you just made count as a double crochet you're going to skip this first stitch right here you're going to be working into this open space you're going to make two double crochet into that open space so with these three chains that is going to be three double crochet together now we're going to start repeating the sequence again from our last row skip three work three double crochet into the next space between stitches skip three work three double crochet into the space between stitches the only difference between row two and row three is how they begin and how they end so i'm going to go ahead and start repeating our sequence until i reach the end of our row And that's how row three is looking. You would now alternate between rows two and three for however long you want your project. 
I am going to continue on and come back when my blanket is complete. So this is how my granny stripe blanket turned out. I made a total of 81 rows for a throw size. And that is going to be how to make the granny stripe blanket. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at crochet me lovely all one word. Please leave me any feedback down below for future videos and tutorials that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for being here. And have a great day.